So you have this process, which is quite spontaneous, going on. We call it life. It's controlling itself. It's aware of itself. It's aware of itself through you. You are an aperture through which the universe looks at itself. And because of it, so the universe looking at itself through you, there's always an aspect of itself that it can't see. So it is like that snake, you see, that is pursuing its tail. Because the snake can't see its head, like you can't. We always find, as we investigate the universe, make the microscope bigger and bigger, and we will find ever more minute things. Make the telescope bigger and bigger and bigger, and the universe expands because it's running away from itself. It won't do that if you don't chase it. <laughs> so, it's a game of hide and seek. Really, when you ask the question, who is doing the chasing, you are still working under the assumption that every verb has to have a subject. That when there is an action, there has to be a doer. Well, that's a, what I will call a grammatical convention, leading to what Whitehead called the fallacy of misplaced concreteness. Like the famous it in It Is Raining. So when you say, there cannot be knowing without a knower, this is merely saying, no more than there can't be a verb without a subject. And that's a grammatical rule and not a law of nature. Anything you can think of as a thing, as a noun, can be described by a verb. And there are languages which do that. It sounds awkward in English, but face it, 